What up YouTube, it's Misery Hates Company. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to level up Scarlet Witch before she even comes out. Because there is, at least in my opinion, a very clear cut way with all the new resources that we have at our disposal, all the new different things that we can do to level up heroes. If you plan accordingly, you can absolutely min max your leveling experience with Wanda or Scarlet Witch, obviously same person, but you can maximize that experience to get her at max level as fast as possible. If that interests you, make sure you watch this video to the very end because you're not gonna wanna miss one step in this whole process or else it all falls apart. So strap in and strap on, let's get to it. Now, before we dive into the context of this video, I do want to take a quick second to show you guys one of our newest partners to the channel, which is Anchor. Anchor is easily the world's best uh, phone charger. I have been using this charger for years, and when I saw that they had a uh, affiliate program or a partnership of opportunity, I jumped on it, and here it is. I just got the email today, so I'm officially working with Anchor, and they have a deal going on right now where if you use the code WSANKER15, you get 15% at checkout. And I'm going to put a link to this deal in the description below, so check it out. Um, I actually use the Anchor 511 Charger Nano, which is only $16.99 right now, and it is a C charger, so it definitely charges extra, extra fast. Now, the other device that I use is um, this one actually right here, which is the Anchor 521 uh, battery, power core 5K. This one I actually made sure I got with a mag strip because I do have the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I do have that magnetic uh, mag safe on the back, which is fantastic. I use it for work in particular because I am walking around a ton. So now I can actually charge my phone on the go. It stays cool to the touch, which is fantastic. That was one of the biggest uh, takeaways from this company is that they keep their chargers cool, but they also have smart charge capability, or I think they call it like IQ or EQ. I think it's IQ, but um, that way it, it doesn't break your phone in terms of fast charging. So a lot of the cheaper fast chargers will just rush and charge your phone and then keep overcharging it. This will get used to your charging patterns and actually slow it down once it gets to almost full to save the battery life of your phone. They do have it, like I said, for both iPhone and Android or whatever kind of phone you have, they have a charger for you. And there is a very decent discount going on right now for 15% off. They have lots of different types of cables for you here, um, as well as different types of chargers. Um, I would also mention that if you want a on the go and or um, wireless charging, they'd have that as well with some other decent options. Their power strips are also fantastic. I'm actually using one below. Uh, for this whole setup, I have one of their USB um, extender options, the HUD, if you will, which I actually put on the bottom of my desk and put all my USBs straight into that. So that way I know it's in good hands. So if you're interested, check the link out below, use that code on screen right now, and that is 15% off your purchase. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the context of this video. So when the time comes when Scarlet Witch is released to us, which is in just a few weeks, they did say, um, early May, which is fantastic. I do want to bring your attention to different ways you can level up faster because you're going to want to do the main quest line still. I know we have the ability of using the Pegasus base to do your the main missions, but this is actually going to help you do it even faster. So you're going to want to gear your new Scarlet Witch out to the T. Now, if you were smart, you did this and you kept your these uh, choice region costumes that you got for your first clear of the battle challenge. Um, you do not want to use them off the start because we have no idea which regional is going to be good for her. So just use whatever gear that you get from picking it up, but you want to go ahead and double stack all of your other options such as battle badges. So when it comes to the battle badges, I'm going to be using my Magneto badges. So it says level 120. It has the 120 plus stats because these are all plus four. But here I am on a level 109 Marvel, Captain Marvel. So I do plan on at least attempting to use these on Scarlet Witch as soon as she drops um, because that would be a ton of stats that would actually help her level up that much faster. We have our battle badges and you want to go ahead and make sure you have your cores equipped. So whatever your best cores are, keep them on your battle badges that you're going to be using, carry them over, apply them. And the other thing that's going to help you fly through the, uh, the main quest line is going to be your Omega cards. So I'm going to be moving over all of these Omega cards as soon as I can onto Scarlet Witch. That way she gets all this extra attack. I don't really care about the exclusive stack. Obviously we cannot transmute as soon as Scarlet Witch comes out, but she can use 
cards that have other heroes exclusive stats that's what i did on my magic for a long time so i know for sure this will work unless of course they change something between now and then but that wouldn't make any sense so i'm very confident this will work for you so now you have your battle badges you have your cores you have your omega cards you are going to want to go ahead and equip your best companions so make sure that you are using whatever companions give you the most stats or at least the highest level ones that you have and that will also help with the leveling process you are going to want to make note to equip the ones that have the bonus equipped uh, the bonus effect for when they're equipped for experience gain so that's yondu and then i don't have the other one leveled up yet yeah this would be uh casim uh, i think is how you say his name so he does have the collection stat for xp but if i get him to five stars he does get 14.3 percent additional xp when he's equipped so let's see how close i am upgrade so i'm about ugh, i'm pretty far off from getting him to uh, five stars and getting that additional xp but if you do have it make sure you equip them otherwise don't worry about it so make sure you're min maxing on your campaigns as well because that's a very easy way to uh kind of accidentally skip out on free xp gain so make sure you have those equipped and of course the stats that you get from the campaigns as well now that you have your scarlet witch completely geared out ready to go going to use whatever gear you can find for at least the time being then you want to go and do the main quest line after you finish one of these zones with the main quest line so once you finish new stark city and you get to hydra you're then going to go to pegasus base which is this screen right now and you're going to use you're going to you're going to save your uh, expedition guides for scarlet witch obviously and you're going to use these expedition guides on all of these i want you to ideally save a ton of them so that you can just power through these and you can actually use your hero while these are going on. So you're gonna get all this extra XP, gold and you know fodder or whatever um, while you're still doing the main quest line. So you're gonna do the side missions in New Stark with the Pegasus base while you're doing the main missions in the Hydra Empire. And you're gonna continue that process all the way through each zone. So once you clear Hydra in terms of the main quest line and, you, and which means you're gonna be in Xanderth, then you should be doing the Hydra side missions and capitalizing on all that experience. Now it's very, very little, but it's going to add up towards the very end because we all know once you get to level 100, the leveling process slows down dramatically. So, and then of course you're gonna continue it all the way down. So when you're in the dark domain, you should be doing the Sakaar side mission. So it's gonna take a ton, and I mean a ton, because you have the side missions and the surprise missions. So if you wanna kind of min-max even farther, go do all your surprise missions now, find them and go ahead and complete them on your main knock them out that way it gives you additional xp opportunity that you can automatically do with the pegasus base because again we're only using our expedition guide tickets on the side missions and the um surprise missions now when you go to sleep at night which of course you're going to want to probably sleep before you get her to max level go ahead and do the main quest line whatever you're stuck at or wherever you stopped before you went to bed with the Pegasus base, but stop, it depends on how many cards you have. So if you have the ability of just continuing the main missions, do that while you sleep, make sure you time it out appropriately. It does tell you how much time it's gonna take to uh, continue. So it says 41 minutes. So obviously the main quest lines will take a little bit longer. Make sure you time it out with however long you plan on being asleep or whenever you're gonna be able to play the game again. That way you're truly min-maxing how much um, of your cards. Now, if you, if you have a sparing amount of these expedition guides, what you can remember is, is that the main missions don't cost expedition tickets at all until you get to a boss. And then they cost a little bit more. So if you wanna be sparing in this process, just do up until the next boss, wake up, fight the boss. Let's say you have to go to school or work, continue the main quest line with the Pegasus base until you get to the next boss, take a break from whatever you're doing, knock at the boss, and then do it again. That costs you literally nothing. But if you're gonna actively be playing, then use the tickets on the side missions and or the surprise missions. That way you are truly double dipping and saving as much time as possible to get Scarlet Witch to max level. Okay, so by now, once you have followed all of these steps with your Scarlet Witch, she's going to be roughly around 104, 105 is my guess. It's been a long time since I leveled someone, but I know you don't get too insanely far with the Dark Domain, but you are doing side quests while you're doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and estimate about 104, 105. If you truly min-max it and you do have XP boost, you could be even higher like 106, 107. At that point, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. Go ahead and make sure you have your Pegasus base continually doing whatever you have left over. Um, that's the goal there. But and when you're actively playing or even passively, now that I say that, make sure you're spending your training ground tickets. So save your charge time, uh, these tickets, if you will, the training time tickets, save them now for Scarlet Witch. Because once you get from 105 to 120, the fastest way of leveling up is in the training grounds. 
So you're going to want to have a ton of these. And going into the week, hopefully we get a announcement prior to it so you can front load the time from the previous week onto that week that she comes out. That way you get the free three hours. You get, I think it's like six hours that you get at max, maybe nine, I can't remember now. But you can front load it from the previous week, use all your expedition tickets that you have to get to that max time. Don't use them for that week, say Sunday night. And then on that Monday on reset, when she comes out, probably on Wednesday, if, my, if, my, if I'm to guess, based off how they previously done patches, then you're gonna have the ability of using all those six to nine hours from the previous week that you rolled over, and you'll be able to add another six to nine hours for that week which is going to be fantastic that's going to push you well into the 110 plus range and then after that you're just going to want to scavenge around for any amount of xp you can get until reset and then you're going to want to knock out training grounds again my guess is that we're not going to be able to max her out the first week we get her uh but my hope is if you do all these tips and tricks that you will be very very close and you will be on the track to maximizing her at max level as fast as physically possible so plan now for the future that way your scarlet witch be at max level when the time comes.